guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. Well, today I'm going to be reviewing the R.L. Linden sample pack for y'all. And this is their eight piece sample pack. They have a four piece and an eight piece. So if y'all like to know what I reviewed and my thoughts on these products, go ahead and keep on watching. So going right into it, back in December, I had ordered one of their sample packs. And so, like I said, they come in a four piece or an eight piece. Unfortunately, they don't offer all of their products in sample. Okay, so the only product that you cannot get a sample of is their probiotic rose mask. Everything else you are able to get samples of. They do have perfume oils as well and those samples are $4 and the full size of those are $48. So for a company to be able to offer almost everything in sample sizes is really really great. And so the four piece sample kit is $10 and then the eight piece sample kit is $18. Anyways, I went ahead and picked the four piece and I let them know which four products that I wanted to sample. And when I opened my package from them, they had actually sent me all eight of their products and it came in this really cute little bag. I love bags like these. Anytime I get them from companies, I always save them to use in my purse or when I'm traveling or if I'm sending a package to someone and I want to group all the smaller things together, I like using these bags. So I mentioned in my channel before that I am a very big stickler on customer service. And so when companies go above and beyond my expectations, I always really take notice of that and I always like to point it out to y'all. And so on top of sending me the eight piece sample pack, they also sent me this really nice note. And so first off, really great. That's already a check mark on them for great customer service. So R.L. Linden is owned by two ladies, Robin and Lynn. Robin is a certified master nutrition therapist and Lynn is a tea blender and herbalist. And all of their ingredients are plant-based, organic, raw, and wild crafted. All of their packaging and shipping materials are reusable, recyclable, and able to be put in a compost. They are a cruelty-free company and some of their products are vegan. So the products I asked for originally were the Rose Balm, the Bee Charmer Mask, the Deodorant Spray, and the Time After Time Serum. And they ended up sending me the Floral Toner, the for your eyes only makeup remover and then two of their herbal steams or their beauty teas and oh I'm so annoyed because I don't have their beauty teas to review for y'all because I never got a chance to use them Dakota found them so Dakota is our cat and she loves digging in drawers so one night I left um, my top bathroom drawer which is where I keep samples that I don't want her to get into and I don't leave them on the counter. I left it open and she somehow like pawed them out and chewed them, got into the flowers. She loves dried flowers. I can't let her in this room because she will eat those flowers right back there. She loves chewing on them. Anything crinkly like paper or any type of plastic or any type of plastic packaging, she loves. And so I had left this drawer open, she got into it, she got the little bags, and they. I just came into the bathroom the next morning and they were everywhere. So I'm really sad that I don't have that, but you know, I can still order the samples of those if I want to. Um, so unfortunately, I only have six of the eight products to review for y'all. So we'll start out with the Rose Balm. La Bomba Rosa Rose Healing Balm. This came in this really nice little packaging and it was really really packed in there. This um, comes actually in two sizes so you can order it in a lip balm tube for $8 or you can order a pot jar type of packaging for $22. So this is really nice because it can be used as a lip balm or as a multi-use moisturizer. I did not use this as a lip balm just because as y'all know my lips are just sensitive to things. This doesn't have beeswax in it but I think it's just a little too concentrated to be used on my lips. So I did use it as like a multi-purpose moisturizer. So I kept this in my purse and at work, I would just touch up any dry spots I had on my face or if my cuticles or my hands were really dry that day, I would just rub a little bit around my nails or even right here on my hand. So this balm is really effective at healing any dry spots and you can use it for a variety of purposes. I think on their website they talked about using it on like 
minor burns or minor skin irritations to calm that down and I really like this. I will probably be repurchasing it because for $22 for a jar for a balm is a very, very good price. And so this is not super thick. It's a really good consistency to use all year round. And I think for $22, it's a very affordable price for a moisturizing balm. And so this was something that I was very impressed with and I will definitely be repurchasing. The next item I have is the Bee Charmer Mask. Full size, this is $24. So again, at a really good price point, especially for a honey mask. Sometimes honey masks and exfoliators can run at a bit of a higher price point, but for $24, this is a great product. So this is their, it's a refining cacao honey cleanser and mask. And I used this as a mask because I love using any type of honey cleanser exfoliator as a mask first and then I'll just kind of rub it in when I wash it away. And this just smells, I mean, like straight up honey. Has a little bit of a warm smell to it as well. And this is what the texture looks like. So you can see it right there at the top. Is it going to squeeze out? It's a little bit stickier of a consistency. Like there's definitely a lot of honey in there. And so you kind of have to work to spread it across your skin, but I use this as a mask because I, that's what I love doing and I already said that, but it can be used as a cleanser as well. So I might try and scrape out what little I have left and use that, use it as a cleanser. Um, but this is very gentle and exfoliating. The exfoliating property in here is poppy seeds. Okay, so a really neat ingredient in this, and it is the second ingredient, is ritual chocolate. This is a combination of cacao and cane sugar, and I was looking at some benefits of cacao use on your skin, and it is very high in antioxidants. It has anti-aging properties. Cacao has a raw enzyme in it that actually helps your cell repair, and this really improves your complexion and greatly increases your hydration. And so I did find that this was very moisturizing for my skin and my skin just looked very even. After using this, my skin felt very soft. It had a nice subtle glow to it and it was also any redness that I was experiencing was gone. So I love using any type of honey product on my skin. I was very impressed with this one. And again, I think for $22 for a full size is a really, really good price point for a honey mask exfoliating product. So this is also something I will definitely be repurchasing. So once it gets to the bottom, it just gets a little bit difficult to squeeze out, but you can easily scoop it out with something else. The next item I was very curious to try because I had never really heard of anything like it. So this is the Close to Me Uplifting Deodorant Spray. The full size of this is $48, but you can get a like travel purse size for $15. The smell is a little bit more masculine, I should say. It's just a more masculine smell. I don't really know how to describe it other than that because I've also never smelled anything like this. Um, so some great ingredients in this product are tamanu oil and olive leaf extract. The tamanu oil and olive leaf extract is what gives it the antimicrobial properties. So some other ingredients in here are rose geranium and bergeptine free bergamot. I didn't know what bergeptine was when I saw that they made that disclosure on their website that it wasn't in the bergamot they used. I looked it up and bergeptine is a is something that can cause phototoxicity. And so phototoxicity is a chemical reaction that can happen on your skin when you are exposed to light. It can kind of mimic a sunburn and so just something to be aware of and something that something new that I learned when I was doing research for this video. As far as this being effective for me, I don't use this on days that I'm going to be at work. I tried using it for that just by itself and I found that I like the odor protection like completely went away after a few hours. I tried layering it with my other deodorants and that didn't work very well either. I do enjoy using this on those days that I am hanging around the house. So I use this mostly on the weekends or like today, Brandon and I took the dogs on a walk and we came back and I showered and I just spritzed this on before I started filming because it does give me that freshness and odor protection and I'm not really doing much and so it's just nice for those days that I am going to be around the house and I'm not going to be super duper active. Um, 
deodorant is kind of tricky because it does really depend on your body chemistry and so deodorant especially natural deodorant is a little bit harder to find because it can be so different person to person i do know annie really really enjoys this the next item is the time after time frankincense restoring serum this is this is what the sample size looks like. It has a very nice golden color to it. As y'all can see, I do have a little bit left. The full size of this is $42. This is a healing serum. This is good for combination, dry, damaged, and blemish prone skin. So I use this at night and I would only use a little bit mainly as kind of a spot treatment for any breakouts I was having or any dry spots. And this did really work to moisturize my skin and help with any redness or irritation. So an ingredient in here that is really neat is they use jojoba oil, but the jojoba oil is infused with a variety of ingredients. I will have listed below all of the ingredients in each of their products in my description box so you don't have to go find it. You can just see it right there. Um, so infusing oils is something that my friend Ashlyn over at Ashcap has told me about and it seems like a pretty neat process. You, you pick which carrier oil you're going to use and then you put the herbs in it and you let it sit in the sun and then you let it sit there for I think at least like a month before you use it. And so that just is really cool just, just to take that extra step to do that. And infusing oils can actually pull out those really healing properties from whatever herbs you're putting into the carrier oil. So it really pulls out the best parts of those ingredients that are going into the infusion. Sometimes with serums and with toners, I need a bit of a bigger size to see if it's going to be effective, but I didn't have any problems with this. And like I said, it helped with those dry spots and any skin irritation or redness that I was having. The next item is the Thousand Petal Beautifying Mist. This is a rose toner and the first ingredient is water and it's not just any water it is Colorado spring water which I was really curious about and that really intrigued me when I was looking at the ingredients because I've been to Colorado and it is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been and just when the streams you know are going through the mountains and you just feel so fresh and just very immersed in nature I want to go back to visit. Just something about that is so neat and special and I think sets this product apart from, you know, a different type of toner, but I don't know, that just really intrigued me. And this is a very refreshing toner. I think this is another product that I would need to use the full size to really see the effects or at least use like two of this size. So I would use this at night and if y'all have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love anything rose. I have a rose mask that I love. I have a different rose water toner that I use. I love anything with rose and rose water and rose extract in it and so just give me all the roses. So this particular product has rose hydrosol and rose extract. Rose is very beneficial at moisturizing the skin. It acts as a natural astringent for acne prone skin and rose hip, which is not in this, but it is in the time after time serum. Rose hip is a natural retinol. The last item of theirs that I have is the For Your Eyes Only Makeup Remover. This can be used as a whole face makeup remover. I used this specifically as an eye makeup remover and then I would go and oil cleanse like I normally do. But this is a very, very gentle makeup removing blend. It is only three ingredients. It has fractionated coconut oil, jojoba oil, and essential oil of bourbon vanilla. And so if you are someone who has more sensitive skin or your skin does not react well to really concentrated oil blends, I think this would be really, really nice. Again, it is at a very great price point of $20 and really you only need a little bit of this for it to be effective. Now granted I was only using this on my eyes but I only needed a few drops to get off all of my eye makeup and sometimes my mascara depending on which one I use can be very stubborn to remove but I had no issues. So vanilla can actually have some really good benefits to your skin. It's a great source of antioxidants and also has antibacterial properties, so it's going to keep your skin clean. Overall, I really like this. I like using makeup removing blends, and so I will probably repurchase this once I'm out of my 
makeup remover that I'm using now. So that is it for this one brand review. Overall, I think RL Linden is a really great company. I was very impressed with all of the products that I got to try. It's a small business and I love supporting small businesses and I love the ingredients that they use. So overall, as far as the prices go, I think for the quality of product that you're getting, the prices are really, really good for the honey mask and the balm to be around the 20 price point. I think that is really, really good. You know, the toner is a little bit more expensive. Overall, I was impressed with the quality of the products, the effectiveness and how they performed. I think you get the luxury feel with these products without, you know, dropping an arm and a leg on them. And so overall, I was really happy to try them. I'm really glad that they ended up including more products for me to try. Some other products that they have and one that I want to try is the Whole Lotta Roses Probiotic Mask. This is a $56 mask and they don't offer a sample size of it as I mentioned previously. So I'm trying to get through multiple masks right now and once I'm out I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that to see what it is and it, and it is roses and so I feel like I'm just already going to love it. Their perfume oils, like I said, you can get the samples for $4 and then the full sizes are $48. And based on their website, they seem to have a variety of scents. So they also have a travel size set of all the products I talked about today. And for all of those, plus a like travel cosmetics bag, it's $120. So that is a little bit more than just getting the four or eight piece sample pack. But if you really want to use a product and see the benefits of using it, over a longer period of time that may be an option for you. That's all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed another one brand review over RL Linden. If you have used any of the products that I talked about or used any products from this brand, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for coming by. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you always stay up to date on my latest video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.